successful people that you've come across in your life, what are some of the most important strategies, models, or ideas that they have or use that other people do not? They invest in education versus entertainment. They are not addicted to their mobile phones and, and distraction. They're maniacally focused. They are very fit. Uh, as I said, surround themselves with the right people. They understand success is a numbers game, grit, right? They're relentless. Yeah, they're, they're committed. Keep their promises, over promise, over under deliver. You're quite different from other people and you shouldn't be comparing yourself to them because they're not like you, you know? They, they don't have your family. They don't have your temperament. They don't have your troubles. They don't have your abilities. You, if you sit and meditate for any length of time about what you're not doing optimally, answers will spring to mind. You know, you could be getting up earlier. You could be, you could be, you could be watching YouTube less, unless they're my videos, in which case you could be watching them more. The capacity to strengthen and increase your hunger is the one common denominator amongst the most successful people. You know, uh, you know Richard Branson's a good friend of mine, and Peter Goober, Steve Wynn, all these guys, they've never lost their hunger. Most people are hungry to achieve a certain amount, make a certain amount of money, and then they get comfortable and relax, or to get a certain level of fitness, and then they relax. And in order to have winning, winning requires you to do and use everything, because you don't know one day if winning, not even a day, you don't know from minute to minute if winning is going to wear a halo or it's going to meet you with fangs. And if you can't deal with the halo, you definitely can't deal with the fangs. You can't deal with the fangs. You can't deal with the halo. And they may require different energy. You see how the, the, the gospel went into places like Latin America and Africa. And then no one taught them, though, how to daily walk with God it was like well just give your life to Jesus and everything's gonna be perfect if anyone says that they're lying because that's not what the Bible says we know that the rain falls on the righteous and the unrighteous and it's not about having a philosophy in God that well just you know text him when you kind of need him Alpha state is a great state to learn in though, great state to learn facts. And the alpha state is where your conscious mind is set aside and you're not filtering. It's information just coming in. Great state to be able to learn foreign languages also. Great states to learn uh, information like giving presentations and scripts. One of the ways we work with actors, putting them to an alpha state. So they're in this relaxed state of awareness where their conscious mind is set aside and information is just flowing in, like television and you could control those states because you have a responsibility once you learn the strategies behind it. Seven, eight, nine years old, grew up in a small town. I would, on a, on a Sunday morning, I would beg one of my parents to like get the old Chevy Blazer, drive me to the town dump, crack open the tailgate, throw in a bunch of like, you know, like discarded bicycles and parts, go back home, stay in the garage and duct tape them together to build Franken bikes to mm -hmm. ride around the neighborhood. Like I, this has been an impulse that has been with me for as long as I've been conscious. That is like crystal clear that that's me. The scientists, yeah, I think it's it's there in a really strong way, and it's been of service to the maker of me in a really powerful way. And the nurture, yeah, I care about people. If there's awareness, you can observe the anger, but may, may, no, longer, may no longer need to act it out. I'm not talking about suppressing, mm -hmm. but recognizing the more awareness you have, or presence, the more choice there's in your life. And then, it's only then that you actually become truly intelligent. Now, whether television is better for you than, you know, a diet of high quality literature, that's a whole different question. Um, whether it's better for you than playing properly with your peers, uh, engaging in pretend play and all the other things that you have to do to establish yourself. Energy is more valuable than intelligence. I've met a lot of very successful people and they're not that smart, right. but they have massive energy, yeah. massive grit. Right, that one idea and they're just like a pit bull and they get locked into it and it leads them to billionaire. So take care of your energy by fitness, diet, inspiration. And the curiosity is important also. There's a, there's a Rumi quote um, from the poet said, trade your cleverness for bewilderment. Isn't that a great word, bewilderment? When's the last time you were in that state? We're talking about genius states and superhero states. When's the last time you were in that state of bewilderment? You know, people that don't work as hard, they end, up get, they end up getting that win. People that aren't as qualified for the job, they end, up getting that, they end up getting that win. Do you stop the process? No, you continue to get more maniacal with the process over and over and over again. Sometimes people are in the grip of strong emotions, but if there's a little bit of awareness there, 
if, let's say, it's anger, you suddenly anger arises, but in the background you're aware that there's emotion of anger. So there's a small element of choices come in. Do you want to 